Joseph Lewis Roisman took a bus, a cab, and here he is. This man traveled more than five hours to visit a girl he's never met before, at least not in person. He started chatting online with her just last night. Then he took a bus and a cab to get here. He thinks the girl he's meeting is 13. So glad you made it. Have a seat. I made some frozen lemonade. Very cool. Yeah, you like lemonade? I do. He was really talking to a decoy from the online watchdog group, Perverted Justice. He's Joseph Roisman, a military man currently enlisted in the Navy. Online, the 21-year-old, calling himself Joseph Roisman 2000, tells the decoy he's completely shaved in his private area, asking in graphic detail what girl wants to give oral sex when a man isn't shaved. The decoy says, I know I don't, and he responds, well, you won't have to worry then. Guess what? I want to change my suit. Does that sound good to you? That really sounds good. I don't have a suit, though. That's okay. You don't really need one. Good deal. Yeah, jump in. It's really warm. I turned it on a couple hours ago. Sweet. Yeah. As he starts taking off his clothes, he goes in search of the decoy. Instead, he finds me. Keep your hands on your pockets for me. All right. Okay. Now, I want you to go sit down over on the other side of the bar, please. Right next door. Do you have a seat? Good, you can put your shirt on. What was your plan? I don't know. Talk. Be talk. Friends. Be friends. Yeah. As long as we're friends, that's fine. As long as I don't, you know, cross that line. But you, you talked about having sex with her in the chat. We did discuss oral sex, but... I want to wrestle you so freaking bad. Wrestle me. I'd let you in just so I could feel you on top of me. Blanket, I want to see you so bad. Honest mistake? Honest mistake. This is my first time doing this. First time. First time. If she would have let you, you would have had sex with a girl. With her, no. Do you know that it's illegal to solicit someone who's underage online for sex? Yes. But it seems as though that is what you did here. I mean, you could see how someone would draw that conclusion. Yes. Okay. Right. okay. Well, there's something you've got to know. And that is, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens online for sex. No, there's nothing else for me to say. Okay. Thank you very much. Did you know this girl was 13 when you first started talking to her? Yes. Did you guys talk about the possibility of her giving her whenever you were talking to her on the internet? I mentioned oral sex, yes. Yeah. Which would lead a reasonable person to, to believe that that might have been in the back of your mind, thinking about Oh yeah, it was definitely in the back of my mind. So what would have prevented that from happening if there hadn't been someone there to intervene? Self-control. Oh. He tells the officer several times that he would not have done anything yeah, sexual with a 13-year-old, but finally he admits... Yes, I, I, would have, I would have liked to yes. Nothing more. Come on in. I made some sweet tea. It's on the table. I just got to put this stuff in the washer real quick. In Georgia, the treat, if you will, was uh, sweet tea, which is popular in the South. Resta Cruz comes in, sees the tea, pours himself a glass, and makes himself right at home. I said, well, nice tea. Oh, how are you doing, sir? Good. I want you to have a seat. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Well, who are you here to see? I was going to meet her. Let's see. Meet who? Your daughter. My daughter? Yes. What makes you think it's my daughter? I was just fooling around, sir. Resta Cruz makes it clear online that he knows what he's doing is wrong. He even tells the decoy not to tell her parents about their meeting because, in his words, it could be considered statutory rape. So you ever been with an old guy before? No, I need you to stay in the, the chair, please. Just please. I'm just sit down, please. Please, sir. I'm just divorced. I just divorced. Yes, you're yeah. divorced. Yes. And you have children? Yes. Sir. And how old are your children? Three. How old? Three. Three. Please, why don't you just have a seat in the chair? When I get there, I know the first thing that I will want to do is take a shower, so we can take the shower together. I will undress you, and you will undress me. Yes, sir. For a virgin to have sex, it hurts, so it's better if I put some extra lubricant. 
Sir, please. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. I, I don't know whether you no more. Please. I wasn't going to do this. I swear. I was going to the third, but I cannot do it. Well, that's not consistent with what's here. Page after page after page. Now, you're in the military. Yes, sir. And you've been to Iraq? Yes, sir. Well, you joined the military. You were expected to uphold a certain level of behavior. Yes, sir. I will do it from now on, sir. I swear. Why should I believe that? During my talk with him, Restacruz actually gets down on his knees. And I didn't think about it at the time, but looking at the tape, it was almost as if he was getting into the POW position. And this was a military guy uh, who had served in Iraq. So it made sense that, you know, when in trouble, you revert to this, this position. And I honestly think that's what he was doing. I promise you, with my life. You're talking about taking her virginity. You talk about how sex can leave a nasty mess. You know, the experts would suggest that when somebody does something like this, it's not their first time. It's the first time, sir. I swear, it's the first time. Do you ever watch television? Yes, sir. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Yeah, about well, the cops and everything, I know. You ever see the, the Catch a Predator show? Yes, I'm not a predator, sir. I'm, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say, Sir, please. You'd like to hear it. otherwise you're free to walk right out of this house. No, sir, can I go? Yes, absolutely. Please don't put this in TV. Don't put this in TV, please. No decisions have been made yet. Please, I swear I will never do this again. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Get on the ground. Please, get, get on, on the ground now. Get down. Get down, get down. All the way down. Get down, down, down. down. The tears keep flowing as the police arrest him, but his sob story may seem less convincing once we show you what the police find in his truck. Gifts he brought for a 14-year-old. How about Astroglide? Is that some kind of sexual lubricant? Yes, sir. You brought that with you? How about panties and a camisole? Yes, sir. The webcam? Did you buy the webcam? Yes, sir. Why did you bring it with you? Because I promised her that I was going to give her one. It was all there in the chat logs that perverted justice provided to law enforcement. Remember, his screen name is Married and Looking for Fun 31313. Does the screen name Bedhead Red 14 ring a bell with you? That's Whitney. That's Whitney. And Whitney, you believe to be a 14 year old girl, correct? Yes, sir. Yesterday, around 656, you told her after some chat. I want you in my chest after we do it all night sleeping together. Is that you? Okay. And you say, I love you, baby. And then you say, I want to be your loving husband forever. And you're nodding your head yes? Okay. Down a little bit further, Married and Looking for Fun says, we will have to hide your real age. You remember typing that? And you're nodding your head yes? Okay. He doesn't deny a thing. What's your rank in the military? Stuff, sergeant. Your staff sergeant? Yes. Do you recognize this receipt? Yes, sir. Is it, is it something you purchased? Is all this stuff in the vehicle? Yes, sir. The Coke, the webcam. How about Trojan? Is that is that Trojan condoms? Yes, sir. So you brought condoms with you? Yes, sir. Okay, that's going to be Jokiter. He's supposed to be in a mid-sized Chevy, he said. Here comes another suspect who will also try to play this as a big misunderstanding. 
He's 33-year-old Ernest Timmons, a mechanic for the United States Air Force. Calling himself Jokiter34, he's been chatting online about having sex with a girl who tells him she's 13. What do you want me to do? Whatever you want. But I thought you wanted the real thing. Maybe you're just thinking with my head. No, I want the real thing. I'm scared to get caught with a minor. Then don't tell anyone. Then the military man asks the decoy for a photo of her breasts. Do you have a picture of your boobies I could see? Please? I don't have my camera. You could bring one. <laughs> to do what? I don't know. <laughs> and here he comes, camera at the ready. Online, he told the decoy that he wouldn't be able to stay for long. Glad you can make it. No idle chit-chat for this man. He wastes no time making it clear he wants to get busy. Come sit down. I made some brownies. You want some? Oh, no. no. Are you sure? Yeah, can we just go upstairs for a little bit? Oh, let's just hang out here for a little bit. Why don't you sit down? Okay. Why well, didn't I need to get going down. here a little bit? Just sit down. It'll be fine. Yeah. His eyes were bugging out of his head, so I knew he was either going to do something really quick or he was just going to take off. Well, weren't you going to bring me lotion or anything? Oh, no. I don't have any. Oh, because I thought you were going to teach me some stuff. That's all. Yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, actually, everything is just fine, but I need you to have a seat right there for a minute. Yes, sir. Put the camera down. Just have a seat, please. Have a seat. Now watch how fast his story changes, from a man appearing eager to take photos of our decoy to a mere victim of circumstance. Yes, sir. My friend told me to come here to take, uh, bring the camera and... Your friend told you to come here? Yes, sir. And who's your friend? A guy named Kevin. Kevin. And what's Kevin's last name? I don't know. How long have you known this friend, Kevin? We just met on, on the on the base. So you're going to come in and you have your camera ready and you say to the girl who you think is 13 or your friend thinks is 13 I, I that don't you want to run exactly. up you want to run upstairs because you only have a little bit of time. Do you see why this does not make sense? <laughs> yes sir, I, I, I perfectly, why do you think I'm just as stunned as you are? Oh, well, you're stunned because you got caught, that's why you're stunned. Because I think you're telling a big fat lie to me right now. I'm not telling you a lie sir. It doesn't make sense. I know. As the Air Force mechanic sweats profusely, he reveals he's about to be deployed to Iraq. I uh, leave in about a week and a half. And so you, what, you stopped by here for a quickie with a 13-year-old before you went over to Iraq? No, sir, I was a joke. It I'm turns sorry. out the 33-year-old military man is married. His wife's yes, picture is it. on the camera. Do you have kids? I have kids, yes. You have kids. How old is your kid? <sighs> She's seven. Why would a man in the military with a wife and child at home come hustling nervous into this house with a camera and ask a girl you think is 13 to go upstairs to do what? I don't know. It's you don't know. No matter how implausible the man's the story child. is, he sticks to it. Oh, here's something. You seem concerned about seeing those TV shows of people getting caught. Have you watched those shows? No, sir. Because you're about to be on one. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet kids online. For <laughs> no, please, sir. I was told as a friend to come over. That was it. And that's your story? That's my story. And you're sticking to it? Yes, sir. Now he'll get a chance to tell his story to the police. Police department! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Let go of your camera. Easy. Yes, sir. Let go of horse behind your back. Relax. Relax. Okay, right up the and apparently the police don't buy his story either. X man currently a soldier, doesn't stay long enough to find out he's on national television. Okay, I just gotta put this in the washer. Come on okay. He's 27-year-old Marshal Gertman, a first lieutenant in the National Guard who served a year in Iraq. He's been chatting with a decoy posing as a 15-year-old. Using the screen name High Excitement, he sends the girl a link for her to view pornographic pictures and asks her, what do you think? and then asks, do you like it? Later, he makes plans to come over and go skinny dipping. Hey, just have a seat. If I don't put this stuff in right away, it gets all wrinkled. Okay. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. I need laundry. As he's walking in, he seems to spot our crew. He's leaving. And takes off. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Yes, sir. Do not move. While he never tells us his side of the story, as we'll hear later, he speaks at length to investigators. I mean, you brought up the, the fact of, of going skinny dipping in the, in the swimming pool yes, with a 15-year-old girl. Yes, sir.
This other soldier's memory isn't as clear. Remember First Lieutenant Marshall Gertman? He made plans to meet a girl he thought was 15. Honestly, I, I can't remember her age. She only told me that one time. I knew she was probably underage just by the way we were talking. Um, bad judgment call and bad judgment call to keep talking to her. Well, you know, first lieutenants don't make bad judgment calls. Hey, not always. Not, not always. But you he know, insists he had no plans for sex yeah. with the young teen. Honestly, team. no, I would never let myself do that. Well, you let yourself, that. you let yourself internet chat with a 15 year old. Yes, sir. I know. You let yourself come over to a house where there was only a 15 year old in it. Yes, sir. I know. And you expect me to believe that you didn't expect to get laid while you were here? Sir, no, I don't expect you to believe it, no, but knowing myself, no, I wouldn't let it go that far to that extent, sir. He did allow himself to send a girl he thought was underage a link to a pornographic website. So he provided a 15-year-old child with a pornographic website that she could go to? Yes, sir. Why would you do that? I don't really have a good explanation of why. What's really sad, Marshall, is this could cost you. A military I know that, sir. He's taken away in process like all the other men caught in our investigation. Joe Wonderler was a guy who clearly had a problem. I mean, this guy actually wanted to involve a dog in the sex act with a young girl. And he was very graphic about how he wanted this whole process to go. And you even see him when he comes in, you know, sort of reference to himself, where's the dog? You see him mouth those words. He's anxious, he's nervous. He's got kind of a, a tick going on when we talk to him because of all this stress that he's under. But I think a part of him was relieved that he was finally gonna get some help. What's that? I got, I got a skirt I'm gonna put on. Oh Would you just wait at the counter for a second? Huh? Thanks. How you doing? How you doing? Why don't you have a seat right around that stool? I'm just... Go ahead, just have a seat. <clears throat> What's happening? How much? What are you here for? Just come and talk to him. Come and talk to him? That's it. What's that? You seem a little nervous. Yeah, I am. Why are you so nervous? I just get nervous. I just come and talk, talk to somebody, that's all. Talk to who? 
I was going to talk to Aaron. Aaron? Yes. And why were you going to talk to Aaron? Just talk, that's all. Nothing more. How old is Aaron? She didn't tell me. Try again. I saw, I saw 14, but she, I mean, I didn't know. I'll try one more time. Oh, just keep your hands out of your pockets. Right? Okay. So you thought it was okay to come here to see a 14-year-old girl why? No, I didn't. You talk about hair in personal places. Then you say, and there was just something. Watch your hand. I want to see your hand. Okay. Sorry. And you say, there was just something about a teen body. And you say, so are you a thong kind of girl? My mom won't let me have them. That sucks. Bet you would look awesome in it. I know what was in there, and I was talking. I mean, we were talking. That was it. I wasn't planning on doing that. I was just talking. It was just a conversation. There's a lot of talk here. <clears throat> would you ever try anal? Ouch, that sounded like it could hurt. Not have done right. You have to be very gentle with that. Quite a Romeo. I'm... I'm a lonely guy, what can I say? This I gets pretty freaky here. Listen, I have had a problem with an internet addiction talking with the females. I've never done anything with the females that I've talked to. I just, you know, meet and talk, that's it. I've never done anything. I'm trying to get help with it. What are you doing to get help? I'm seeing a, a psychiatrist right now. Well, it doesn't look like it's working too well based upon all that. I just started talking to him. Wonderler tries to tell me that while he recognizes he's got an addiction, perhaps a compulsion, it's limited to chat. He would never actually do these things in person. But he's so specific in the chat. He, he is very graphic in the details of what he wants this girl to do with a dog and then what he's going to do to the girl. And if it was all just talk, then, you know, what was he doing sitting in our kitchen? You talk about sex acts with a dog. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get help because I've gotten into fetishes that I, that I know aren't right. And I'm trying to cut all that. I really am. I have a psychiatrist I'm seeing now. It was just talk, that's all. There's a lot of talk here. I mean, how can you talk this way to a 14-year-old girl? That's why I'm getting help. I have a problem. I guess you're going to tell me next that this is the very first time you've done something like this. Actually, it is. I'm serious. How do you expect me to believe that? You know, I hear that all the time. I know you do. I know you do. And I mean... I know what you guys are doing, and I I understand, and I see where you guys are coming from. It sounds like what you're saying is, okay, 14-year-old girl, it's okay to have sex with me. In fact, I've done it before. I was just talking. That was it. How old are you? 28. 28. Mm -hmm. And you think it's appropriate to visit a 14-year-old girl home alone? Why? Even if you were just visiting to talk. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it. I honestly didn't. How do you think a 14-year-old girl's parent would feel about that? Infuriated. And I would if I was a parent. Yet you did it. I was just talking. I wasn't going to do nothing. Yeah, I know. But what's in here is sex act after sex act after sex act. Talk of sex with multiple people. Talk of stuff that's way out there, it's, quite frankly. It's, dogs. It's just talk. That was all. People do it all the time online. I know, but there's a difference between doing it online and showing up at a house. I know what you guys are doing. I see it all the time, and I and I think it's great what you guys are doing. I really do. And I mean, I will do anything. I will do anything to help you guys out with stuff like this. This was only our second investigation. So when Joe Wunderler says, "I like what you guys are doing. I believe in it. I want to help." I'm thinking he, he believes we're the police. So my impression was that he was offering to cooperate in another police investigation. He would help us in any way he could to catch other predators if we'd cut him some slack or perhaps even let him off the hook. I was wrong for doing what I did. I know that. I would do anything to help you guys out. But what should happen to you? Honestly, I'd like to be able to give, be given the chance to help you guys out any way I can. What can you do to help us out? 
anything that you suggest? Well, I'm not a policeman. I'm Chris Hansen of Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on computer records. I'm free to leave right now. If there's anything else you want to say, we're happy to hear it. But if you care to leave, you're welcome to leave. I like to leave. This is a case where what he wanted to do to this girl was above and beyond a lot of the other things we see, uh, the other chats, the other things that these men say online. Um, was he sincere? Difficult to tell. You know, I, I hear this, I'm going to get help, I need help, over and over again. It's probably true, but this was one of the more graphic and bizarre chats we had seen up until that point, and, and really ranks right up there. Uh, Last week, we reported on a Marine Corps sniper who showed up with a shotgun in his trunk. Now, here comes another Marine. Hey, there you are. I'm glad you made it. Look, I, um, I made some lemonade. You can sit down. He's 25-year-old Yancey Wallace, a newlywed. He and his wife, who happens to be in the Air Force, have only been married for two months. Using the screen name Persuasion2032 in a Yahoo chat room, he hits on a girl who says she's 13 and a virgin. He tells her he wants to give her oral sex and says, I'll make it feel really good for you, hon, and later adds, I'll just be your secret lover. I wanted to get into something sexier for you, and I was thinking it'd be really, really hot if you got in the hot tub and waited for me. Does that sound okay? I didn't bring that to this way. How you doing? Pretty good. Why don't you have a seat right over there on the other side of the bar? Please have a seat on the stool there for me. What are you up to? It looks like a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. How so? Because I'm stupid. Because you're stupid? Yes, sir. Why are you stupid? Because of what I was doing. What were you doing? Being dumb. Being dumb. He says that he's in the Marine Corps Infantry. Were you over in Iraq? Yes, sir. Tough duty? Yes, sir. What's your assignment now? It looks like jail. Jail. Now, what's a guy who serves his country so bravely doing getting himself in a situation like this? I wasn't thinking. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker to this whole thing, Yancy is that in the conversation you say this I just hope this isn't all too good to be true he he I think the same thing she says like you're not gonna come or something I, was. I am he he I watched Dateline the other night about guys going to meet a younger girl and they all went to jail and you look at me and look at you yes sir so you've seen the show yes sir what'd you think about the show when you saw it I don't know why I'm here I mean, don't you think that would have been a little bit of a warning? Yes, sir. Can you just relax once, sir? I don't want to do this. I didn't think it was for real. I just thought it was all a game online. All a game. Well, what do you think should happen to you, Yancy? I could say, lesson learned, be on my way. I could say, kick me in the ass. But, uh, I'm in so much trouble anyways, it doesn't matter. What do you think would have happened uh, had there been a 13-year-old girl here and the two of you were alone? Nothing. I was too scared. Well, you know what happens next. Yes, sir. I'll go to jail. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and as obviously you suspected, we're doing a story on adults meeting uh, teens on the Internet. Yes, sir. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Yes, sir. As he makes his way out of the backyard, he knows his time left as a free man is extremely short. Police department, come on out. Keep walking now. After he's booked and photographed, Everybody. he's read his rights and agrees to talk to police. Why did you come if he wasn't to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Just think I was being naive. I didn't think it would actually happen. I just ruined my entire life over something I knew was wrong. There's no explanation, there's no excuses. Everything I've worked for up until now and here on out is destroyed because 
because you wanted to have sex with a 13 year old girl. Because I didn't use my Welcome head. Welcome back to our sixth investigation into online sex predators. This time we're in Harris County, a rural part of Georgia. And sad to say, among the surprises at the door are three military men, one formerly in the Air Force and two others who recently served in Iraq. Now they're under arrest and in the interrogation room with police. Again, Chris Hansen. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. He's coming in. Whether near a big city or a rural area like Harris County, Georgia, lines of potential predators find their way to our undercover houses. Meet 24-year-old Brian Lindsay here because he was invited by a girl who said online she was 15. I got to throw my clothes in the wash, okay? I made you some tea, though. Using the screen name B. Lindsay 01, he describes how he wants to give the girl oral sex. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. Now he's driven two and a half hours to meet her. Have some tea if you want some. It's sweet tea. Is that okay? Yeah, I already drank some on the way. Did you find the place okay? Yes, sir. Would you have a seat right over there, please? <clears throat> what are you up to tonight? driving around. Just driving around? Yes, sir. And why is he just driving around? He says he's been away from Georgia for two years while serving in the United States Air Force, and he wanted to learn his way around again. How is that lesson going for you tonight so far? Not too good. Then he comes up with a completely different excuse. What made you drive into this driveway and walk into this house? I'm just asking for directions, like... Oh, so you're lost? Yes, sir. But he drops that story as soon as I read to him from his chat log. I take it you're a virgin? No, sir. Not you. I'm reading from the conversation between you and Natasha. You say to her, I take it you're a virgin. She says, no, but I'm no ho. You talk about oral sex in great detail. How you like to do it. Honestly, my intention was not to do anything like that because... Hey, I know. It's jailbait. Jailbait. 24-year-old with a 15-year-old, that's jailbait. However, I do believe you can be friends with a 15-year-old and maybe go out and go bowling or something like that. But that's not what you talk about here. You don't talk about going out bowling or just hanging out or mentoring this 15-year-old girl. You talk about having sex with her in great detail. I will get on there and I will speak inappropriate. Sometimes people will just talk about that if you were here right now and wanted to i would not deny you i want to blank your brains out yeah, there, i can't help it there is I mean, is there any other meaning for that there's a difference though between wanting to and actually doing it it sounds like you sure wanted to based upon this i can't control my horny level you see during the conversation you just masturbated twice and it hasn't helped and i was lying you were lying then or you're lying now i was lying then I mean, granted, yes, it's my fault, but did I actually fall into a trap? Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the Internet and then try to meet them. Yes, sir. Now, everything you've just said has been recorded with our hidden cameras from the moment you pulled into the driveway. All I explained was I uh, did not come here with the intention of having sex. I came here with the intention of hanging out. Doing, you know, talking a little bit, maybe go bowling, maybe she's in pool or something. Well, Brian, what should happen to you? Well, honestly, uh, with this, I think I should just be able, just be allowed to just go home. Like nothing ever happened? No, sir. Go home. Just take it as a lesson learned, not to do it again. No such luck. Like all the other men who show up at this house, he gets arrested. It doesn't arrested. take long for 27-year-old Stephen Buchanan to send a selfie and start sexting with our decoy, posing as a 13-year-old girl named Bailey. Buchanan is in the Connecticut National Guard and an Iraq war vet. He works for a local cable TV company. But today, Buchanan is the predator on the loose. He sends our decoys a video so graphic we can't show it on national TV and send some sexually charged texts. You like sex? LOL, I'll be 14 next month. You know you're gonna shower with me Thursday night. I'm gonna pick you up and put you against the shower wall. Buchanan calls Bailey to confirm the date. To the forward to me showing you around tonight. Yeah. Night vision cam shows Buchanan circling the block. Finally, he parks his car in the driveway 
and walks to the back door. Hello? Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm here, I believe. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student portraying Bailey, opens the door. I'm just really scared. Can, can you just, like, prove to me right now that you don't have a gun? Can you turn around? You swear? Okay. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't want you to think I'm crazy. <laughs> no, I, I trust I understand. Okay. Um, do you want to come in? Do you want to go? What's happening is even scarier than we anticipated. Buchanan is actually trying to lure Bailey into his car. Can you just like come in and chat for a little bit? I feel really weird about just like. I could come right there and chat. I'm not coming. Okay. In. Yeah. You got some food if you want. Like what? I don't know. What do you What do you like? I don't know. I just ate not that long ago. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. I'm... You want to show you around? Just, just be driving around, you know. Trust me, I'm not saying. I don't know. <laughs> Steven, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have nothing on me. Yeah, I trust you. Yeah. Even these seasoned detectives are stunned at what they're watching. The guy is trying to lure oh, no, a, there's a no 12 year old, 13 year well, There's no doubt about it. A 12 or 13 year old into the car. Mm -hmm. It's bull that he thinks that she's 27 or 37. What if I had 62 at uh, Enzy Park Lot? I'll tell you to drive. Are you serious? I'm serious. Would you like that? I don't know. You're going to put your trust in me. But as you're about to learn, Buchanan may have something more sinister in mind. See each other. If you don't like it, you go home and I'll leave. From our control room, I'm watching our sting suddenly take an unexpected and potentially dangerous turn. I have to stop it before it gets out of hand. Stephen, I'm going to need to talk to you for a minute. Please come in. Unbelievably, Buchanan comes inside to talk. I take him into the kitchen and grill him. Why don't you take a seat right over there? What was on the agenda tonight? I was, honestly, I was just going to take her out and show her around. Take her out and show her around where? Fairfield. Fairfield. That's it. And what exactly were you going to show her? The beach, sites to go to. So you're the welcome wagon here in Fairfield. You're just going to do a favor for a 13-year-old girl. Uh. As I'm questioning Buchanan, our fence cam shows the police getting into position, covering the exits in case he bolts. What happened was, okay. when my cousin came, right. she did the same thing. You, when your cousin came, she did the same thing. What do you mean? What is this? An older person. An older person came around. over and yeah. showed your 13-year-old around town. And what happened in that case? She got assaulted. She got assaulted. And I was in the army. And I would, I don't like people doing that. And you decided because you're former military and still in the National Guard, right? Yes. That you were going to come over and show this 13-year-old girl around so she'd be safe. Yes. And you want me to buy that? I'm telling you the truth, sir. Telling the truth, the sexually charged chat proves he's lying. And so what is all this talk back and forth between you and a girl you think is 13? You know you're going to shower with me Thursday night. What night is this? What night is this? I'm going to pick you up and put you against the shower wall. Then I'm going to have you ride me, babe, as my hand grabs your ass and I blank your blanks. Did you send her any pictures of yourself? Then you talk about actually having sex with her and Skyping it to an ex-boyfriend. Now that doesn't exactly back up your story about being the protector of Fairfield County, Connecticut, does it? I'm listening. There's a horrible lapse in judgment. A horrible lapse in judgment. Help me to understand what it was that really brought you here tonight. I haven't been the same since I deployed to Iraq. Where were you in Iraq? Camp Marais. You saw action? Yes, sir. It was just 
I don't know, I, I do have problems safe at night. That's very common for returning and I get that. I've never been to war, so I can't pass judgment on PTSD or any long-lasting effects. I can't. But I still have a difficult time connecting that to trying to sexually solicit a 13-year-old girl. Something just, just goes off in, inside of my head. Did you have these thoughts before you were in Iraq? No. Never. And how many times have you done this? Honestly? Honestly. It's my first. Your first time? First time. Honestly. The problem with that, Stephen, is that you surfaced talking in a very similar way to a girl named Brittany posing as a 13-year-old. I have that chat, too. Yes, I understand. So I said, you, my, you just lied to me. No. We have Bailey no, and we said, have Brittany. This, this, this is Bailey tonight. This is my first time doing it on a chat site. And you decided to come visit Bailey tonight. Why? Did you bring condoms? No, I did not. But your intent seems pretty clear I, from this discussion you had. Yes, but like then I told her afterwards, after I thought about it again, I told her we weren't going to do nothing tonight. Your intent is... Can, can, I, can I show you on, on... I don't want you to reach in your pocket. Can, can, can you reach him? What pocket is it? Go ahead, pull it on. And... Go ahead, please have some. Okay. I said, let's just hang out later. I know, but you know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like somebody who's trying to create some kind of a plausible excuse. You see how this looks, right? Yes, I know. So what do you think should happen? Bring me down to the police station. Well, there's something else that you need to know. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. Yes, I understand. Is there anything else is there anything else you want people to know about your situation tonight? Don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Are you going to try to get some help? Yes. And I have your word on that. I'll shake your hand. All right, Stephen, you're free to go. And I hope you get the help. Thank you, you sir. Thank you very much. Do I agree? grab your phone? You can go out the door right there. And I did not bring any comments with me. Well, that doesn't mean anything, really, does it? What else did you bring? Nothing. Just yourself? Yes. As you're about to see, Stephen Buchanan is lying. After I confront this predator, he leaves the kitchen and walks right into the arms of the police. Come on, Allie, come on back. Police department or police? He's handcuffed and put into the back of an unmarked police car. Is a weapon in the car? Yes. Yes, I'm Hey guys, where is it? He's got his weapons around the trunk. The cops search his trunk and make a shocking discovery. 40 caliber Glock. Along with the legally registered Glock semi-automatic, they find a knife, duct tape, a camera, and a pack of condoms. I first feared it was what cops commonly call a kill kit. I was blown away. I've seen, as you can imagine, a lot doing these investigations. But I've never seen a predator show up with what could have been a kill kit in his car. What do you think was going to happen if there was really a girl there and she got in that vehicle? Nothing good. Buchanan was never charged in connection with the items found in his car, but he's now on a one-way trip to jail. I'm trying to keep it together for me, okay? I want to be able to talk to you. Our dash cam shows him sobbing all the way to the station. <laughs> The car pulls into police headquarters. All right, Steven, trying to keep it together. Buchanan, his face still soaked from his tears, isn't going to see daylight for a very long time. Take a seat. Crime Watch Daily was given rare access, so you can see the booking process up close. You have the right to not say anything about this offense or charges and may remain silent. Anything you say or statements you make may be used against you. Buchanan, still bawling, uses a roll of toilet paper to wipe his eyes. Steve, why do you stand up? See where those footprints are? This time, instead of selfies, Buchanan is posing for a mugshot. He's fingerprinted and suddenly decides to confess. Steve, I'd like to talk to you some more. Okay. Um, 
I'd like to do it upstairs. And Buchanan waves his right to remain silent, agreeing to talk to detectives. He's hauled into the interrogation room where he makes a startling admission. What is it that is so enticing to you about wanting to be this friendly with someone who is this age? You know, I mean, she, she did make it clear and you were aware that she was, you know, 13 years old, right? Yes. And that was made pretty clear to you. And you believe that, right? Yes, sir. Something just flipped and switched in my brain, you know, and I never thought about, you know, the consequences. Before I went to the military, I was a normal person and, you know, never ever would ever have thought about doing anything like this. Like what? Like you didn't have desires to what? Do like to, what? I don't want to put words in To, 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 to younger people to be with or meeting people. just random strangers off the internet or anything like that. My body is growing older, it's just, but my mind just... It's kind of still... It's not getting... It's still like a, like a young mind? Yes, sir. And it's just not... So you know, having, it's taking it, time to to mature to where I should be. Going towards a younger person is because they don't have, you know, the responsibilities of the older person or me. They have a lot of free time. So it's just like God, where I could, be, I could be with them and I could, you know, hanging out and just being able to talk and whatnot and, you know, in person and everything. It's a sickness. Remember, Buchanan sent graphic texts about the sexual acts he wanted to do with a 13-year-old girl. When you say sexual, just give me an idea of what some of those sexual things, what does that uh, mean? Oral sex. Okay. Um, penetration. What kind of penetration? Uh, vaginal. And showering. Okay. And, you know, kissing and all, all that stuff. And you're not going to believe his excuse for carrying a gun. Why would you have brought that with you? Is that just to, to I, always, I, do you I always, always carry it? I always carry it after, you know, the the Marines being shot and everything with ISIS and, you know, threats to military people and whatnot. So I always carry it. The evidence against him is overwhelming, and Buchanan ultimately pleads guilty to three felony charges. Attempted second-degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and attempting to entice a minor in an obscene act. He was never charged in connection with the gun police found in his trunk. The sentence, 10 years, suspended after he serves at least three years in prison, and he must register as a sex offender. We got a bad one off the streets, but there are still a lot more predators out there waiting to be caught.